A SQL Saturday Orlando 2023 special request, how to use Log Replay Service to migrate to Azure Managed Instance on today's Tales from the Field. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, give us a like and give us a subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the family, my friends. And to those loyal subscribers, I raise a glass to you. Thank you for being here with us. And why are you here with us? We on Tales from the Field drop content on Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have the round table where we gather up links and blogs and videos, anything that's put together by you, the MVPs of the Azure data community for the Azure data community. On Mondays and Wednesdays, we have this thing we call MS Tech Fix, where we put together videos from inspirational blogs we've found or things we've learned in the field. You're here for one of those now. Let's get over to it. During my Azure migration presentation at SQL Saturday Orlando 2023, I was asked if I was gonna be touching on log replay service, and I wasn't, but I promised a video, and here's that video. Okay, a real quick note, let's flip over here. You can see here that we recommend using Azure Data Studio SQL migration extension and use log replay service if that doesn't meet your needs. We're gonna back up our SQL server or move our database backups to blob storage. Then we're gonna start the log replay service today. And then we're gonna cut out over to the cloud when we are ready. All right, a couple things I wanna to touch on within our documentation here that will be provided within the description of the video. We're not gonna go through everything here. However, I do wanna to touch on a couple items real quick. We wanna make sure that we review the prerequisites. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you look at the best practices and understand some of them. For example, that the log replay service will stop after 30 days. And then you can scroll through all the documentation here. It's gonna show you how to set up the storage account, what types of backups you can do, setting up your identity. In this video, we're focusing on the part of the documentation that gets the log replay service started. Here you can see I'm using Ola Hologren scripts to back up to my URL since we're already in Azure. I'm using a directory structure of database name, and you can see there that I'm saying yes to the checksum. That's going to reduce the amount of time it takes us to restore the database to our managed instance. Okay, looking at our storage account, this is what it's going to look like. You can see here I have my data backup storage too. I have a container SQL backups, and for each database that I plan on migrating, it has to have its own unique folder. All right, within each folder, you can see here it's a flat structure. I've got my fulls, my differentials, and my transaction logs that I plan on restoring to my managed instance. Over here in Azure Data Studio, if you need details on how to create this credential with a managed identity, our good friend Brad has a video here in this channel to be able to do that. What I wanted to show here is that we could do a restore header only from URL to see if we can access our database backup. You can see here that we were able to access it, and this is one of the common areas why our log replay service will fail. All right, next thing to do is sign in the Azure and select a subscription. Make sure you do that. First, we're gonna execute the log replay service in autocomplete mode. So we're gonna use start-az SQL instance database log replay. We're going to put in our resource group name there. We're going to put our instance name, the name of the database we want to restore to, the storage container URI, the storage container identity. In this case, we're using managed identity. And you can see there for autocomplete restore, we're going to put in the last backup name and the final backup in our chain. And you want to make sure that you're in the PowerShell kernel here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to execute our LRS in autocomplete mode. So let's go ahead and hit the run button. Now we have our log replay service running in the background. We can monitor it. We can monitor it by running git az SQL instance database log replay. We'll put in the resource group name, our instance name, and the name of the database we're recovering to. Let's go ahead and execute that. You can see here that we get a status of restoring. Pretty cool. All right. After we run that a couple times, you'll see here that now our status is complete. As we scroll down, we'll come across last restore file name, and we'll see here when I pull it up that it matches the last transaction log backup we did within our storage account container slash folder. 
we can jump over to our database, do a quick query showing that our database is online and ready for connections, showing us that the log replay service with autocomplete picked up all of our database backups that we had there at the time we started the service and brought the database online automatically. This is really great if we know that we're not going to be taking any more transaction log backups. I'll commonly use autocomplete if I have a long outage window for my migration. But let's be honest with each other. How many of us are provided long outage windows for migration cutovers? This is where continuous mode comes in. We can use continuous mode to take fulls, differential, and log backups and start restoring them to our managed instance. And then when we're ready, take one final log backup and cut over. So here we're going to use the same command, start az instance database log replay. We're going to put in our resource group name, our instance name, our name of the database we want to re restore to, our storage container URL, our storage container identity, in this case, manage identity again. If you'll notice from me real quick there, we're missing our autocomplete parameter and our last backup name parameter. This is what allows us to run in continuous mode. Let's go ahead and run this. You can see it's now running in the background. And if we monitor, we can see that it's in a waiting status. So what's happened is the log replay service has picked up our folds, differentials, and our logs. That's the last log that we have in our folder right now, in our container slash folder. You can see here now I've done a fresh transaction log backup, one that just took place. What's going to happen is the log replay service is going to pick that up. It's going to go into a waiting state. Having restored the last transaction log backup, LRS is waiting for us to complete the cutover. And we do that by running the complete dash AZ SQL instance database log replay. And where the magic happens is we put in the dash last backup name parameter and we put in the last transaction log we recovered. That's going to put it into a complete migration status. The next status we'll see will be completed. If we scroll down to the bottom of the screen here, we're going to see the last backup name, which will match the last transaction log backup we have in our container slash folder. All right, there you have it, folks. Log replay service, another tool that we can utilize to help us easily migrate to Azure managed instance. We learned today that we have two modes. We have autocomplete and we have continuous. We would use that autocomplete if we want to bring our database online automatically. We're not going to be doing any more transaction log backups after we start the log replay service. And we have those longer outage windows, but let's face it, not many of us have those long outage windows. So a lot of us are going to use the continuous mode. With continuous, we can take our full backups, our differentials and our transaction log backups and get them started and start migrating to our Azure managed instance. And then when we're close to cut over, we could take that last transaction log backup. The log replay service will pick that up and it'll go into a waiting state. Once it's in that waiting state, we can complete that cut over, reducing our outage window during that migration. You know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see. And as always, be good to each other.